On the last time we saw the Rockets, they blew a 15-point lead to the Thunder and lost control of their own destiny in the playoff seedings. And after last night's results were in, Houston ended up as the four seed in the West, meaning they'll face the Jazz in the first round and potentially face the Warriors in the second round should they advance. Richard, do you buy that it might be better for the Rockets to face the Warriors in an earlier round? Of the oh, oh, God, no. You want to avoid them at all costs. Yeah. My problem with this is that if you could have a successful season or somewhat or feel good about yourself if you lose in the conference finals to the Warriors, right, like you were in the final four, you lose to them in the second round, this was, this was a waste. This is a wasted season, a wasted opportunity. But see, that, that's my thing. I don't think they're approaching this as, oh, that would be a nice season. For them, they really believe they're better than the Warriors, or they can beat the Warriors. They do believe that. They, I they, do think they, that, they, too. They 100% believe we should have won last year, and if we see them again, we're going to give them the business. I, and if you have that belief, losing to them in the conference finals doesn't make you feel warm and fuzzy. It makes you feel like, man, I can't believe we lost again. So if you want to look at your best chance of beating the Warriors, there's two things going on. One... Steph Curry has a, a rolled ankle. They said it's, he'll be fine, but I want to see that uh, earlier rather than later. I don't want him to be fully rehabbed. I want to be somewhat, <laughs> right? But the other part of it is this. James Harden has a track record of running out of gas as the playoffs go. Chris Paul has a track record of getting hurt as the playoffs go. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to play the best team in the league, and I already believe at full strength I can you beat him. Let me play him right now. I don't like you, but I actually agree with you. <laughs> I will. You, you change my opinion. There you go. That right doesn't here. happen it often. Doesn't yeah. You change you my opinion change right now. Opinion. Yes. Time to go. go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they should Your play tires. them early. If they can play yeah. them in the first round, is it too late? Yeah. Is it too late? Because, like you said, they have guys that get injured. But yeah, come back. Come back. Yeah. I need you back. Yeah. If they can play them in the earlier, I agree. I agree. Chris Paul earlier is better. Stan? Well, uh, bottom line to me is, the, I, I agree with the mean. The only thing the Rockets would think was a success was getting into the finals and winning you that, probably. And so when you play them, probably doesn't matter a whole lot at, to Houston. They know that they're going to have to go through the Golden State Warriors if they want to get to where they want to get to. to Amin's point though I've done five of their games this year on the sideline and they absolutely believe that if Chris Paul wouldn't have gotten hurt that they would have won they actually felt they, they should have won even with Chris Paul they, they are clubber laying to, yeah. the, to the Warriors rock you ain't so tough like right. they're the guy yeah. at the press conference like come fight me like yeah. that's hey fool yeah. but they're not the only <laughs> ones anymore the one thing with the Warriors like people have given them the excuse this year well they're bored in the regular season right. they'll turn it on in the playoffs probably true but what has happened because of their season is I believe there are teams out there that legitimately believe they can beat the Warriors and I don't think that has always been the case I think the top teams in the East think they're good enough to yeah. beat them I think Houston thinks they're good enough to beat them I, I, I think the Warriors aren't intimidating people the way they have in the past well and they've built some bad habits particularly on defense right yeah, I th but those have started to get better. I'll give them credit for that. Since February 1st, last two and a half months, you know, they were sixth or seventh defensively in the league. Um, they've gotten better there. But I think the big thing is you go into a playoff series against a great team, you have to believe you can win. And I think there's teams now who do think that. Yeah, I think the Eastern Conference, as we look at the top of it, you mentioned the, the Bucks and the Raptors have had some success against the Warriors this year, guys. Yeah, but let's be honest. The Warriors, even though they haven't had a great season, a dominant season like a lot of people thought they would, they have gotten better. They are more talented. You added Boogie Cousins. They are going to be a much better version of themselves in a week, in two weeks, in a month, in two months than they are right now and than they were a couple of months ago. So that's the one thing. It's like, hey, yeah, they, Warriors actually added more talent. Right. And, and you still lost to them. Yes, there were injuries, and I yeah. personally believe Houston would have won it had uh, Chris Paul not gone down. But this is a different team, so different Warriors. Also team. sneaky, the Bogut pickup has been Huge. great. For oh, them. it has yeah, been. That yeah. was a Agreed. great move. Yeah.